This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, we're in the city of Richmond. More specifically, we are in Church Hill. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a three bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is located here in a very historic block. Uh, just to give you a little frame of reference, a half a block away is a National Park Service Museum. And in this direction, uh, about uh, five or seven minute walk, there is St. John's Church, which is the site of Patrick Henry's famous Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech. So we are definitely right here in the throes of history. And I'm gonna cross the street here. Hopefully I don't become intimately involved with a late model import grill, but this home is an amazing renovation. Uh, one of the things about these blocks is you kind of never know what you're going to find. Uh, from the exterior, you can, of course, tell the homes that are renovated and the ones that are still awaiting renovation. We see directly across the street the nice big blue dumpster. And for a lot of people, they consider that an eyesore. But in real estate, we love to see dumpsters because we know that something's being renovated and that's going to improve the housing stock here in the Richmond. And also, it's going to be a wonderful place for somebody to call home. And uh, speaking of a wonderful place to call home, I'm gonna give you a shot here from the front porch. A lot of people really love to sit out and enjoy uh, the cityscape, uh, enjoy the sights uh, here of the city. There's a lot of walkers, a lot of pedestrian traffic, as you can see there in the middle of the frame. People love to walk their dogs and uh, just get out. Uh, like I said, you have the park that's just uh, half a block away. There's actually a doggy park that is uh, near as well. A lot of shops, restaurants uh, right here uh, in this area. A lot of people love the convenience factor that you have here in a location like this. Okay, as we come in, we have that gorgeous exposed brick, our stairway going up. Uh, one of the things they did in this home was they tried to reclaim as much as they could. And we'll see some great examples of this as we go through. Uh, they have done a wonderful job. One of the things that first caught my attention was look at the level of detail here. You've got molding and even more molding. Uh, there's just extensive molding here in this home. Uh, the recessed lights are, of course, a nice modern touch that they brought in. And uh, I see this mantle here. And I want to get a little closer here so you can see and appreciate exactly uh, what this looks like. These are simply amazing as far as the level of finish, the craftsmanship uh, that went into them. We have the cover there for the coal burning fireplace. Back uh, when this home was built, uh, they used coal, of course, to heat each and every room. Uh, of course, we no longer do that, uh, but they have some decorative reminders here of yesteryear. The pocket doors, these are really neat. This will, of course, separate these spaces. These are, of course, functional. Uh, which is a nice plus if you wanted to create some separation in the rooms you could of course do so all right here we come into the dining room portion and look at the detail on that wall all the way up to this ceiling nice tall ceilings here uh, beautiful fixture plenty of space here for your dining table and notice the really tall windows that just let light flow all throughout this home Okay, this is going to be a little storage area. And they went ahead and put ceramic tile there. I know some people would actually use that for a four-legged friend. Put uh, his or her little bed in there and that would be their little home. All right, here from this angle, we can see we have our kitchen uh, straight back. But before we get there, here to the left is going to be a powder room. And they did a really nice job. This home is staged uh, and it just really comes to life as a result got the nice quartz countertop and this is actually bigger than a lot of powder rooms that we commonly see notice the detail all the way here into the powder room so uh, they did not cut corners as far as detail and trim all right as we head to the left we have another door here this is going to be our mechanicals we have a heat pump situated next to an electric water heater. And both of those are, of course, brand new. All right, directly to the right, we've got a little nook here. This is really neat. Uh, I like to call this the homework desk, but if you have a laptop and uh, just want to sit there and uh, work, you could uh, right there uh, looking out the window. 
Love what they did here in this kitchen. They took our cabinets all the way to the ceiling. Uh, so you've got a lot more cabinets in this home uh, than you would normally see. All the appliances do convey the KitchenAid stainless appliances and they are uh, commercial style appliances. Nice quartz countertop, or of course our dishwasher, our five burner gas stove, which is really nice. I noticed that it has an attachment here and the thought process is you put water in here and it gives you the ability to do steam baking. I have no idea if steam baking tastes better than regular baking, but I just wanted to point that out to you that I saw that you can do steam baking. The nice KitchenAid hood here, uh, nice and high. And as we move further down, we'll give you a shot here from the opposite direction. We of course have the double bowl sink and the pendant lighting overhead. All right, we're gonna pop out back so I can show you what we have here in the rear yard. One of the beauties of urban living is you don't have a huge, massive yard to maintain. You just got a little bit here. Uh, I noticed over here, this is kind of neat. I guess you could do a little garden there in that dirt. Um, and of course the walkway straight back. Uh, privacy fence all the way around back here. So it'd be great for uh, two-legged or four-legged friends. And the seller is willing to bring this fence back to give you some off-alley parking if desired. I'm going to give you a shot here over the fence. Um, they haven't quite got the latch here on the inside. So uh, you can see, of course, that's where the sanitation trucks would come. And uh, if you wanted to pull in back here, you of course could if they pulled the fence back. Now density, parking density is not that big of a deal here uh, like it is in some parts of Richmond. So it shouldn't be really tough as far as parking goes. Uh, we do have a few properties that are vacant and uh, some of them are single family, so we don't have four or five cars per building like we do in many blocks in the fan. All right, let's go on back through and see what we have in store here on the second level. I uh, just worked with a family yesterday and uh, it was really a treat to meet the different members of the family. Uh, they are actually selling an estate property and one of the stipulations is that the new buyer has to allow the family members that are living there now to stay and they of course are paying rent and um it's a little tougher to find a buyer that's willing to let someone stay indefinitely uh, the rent amount would be fixed and uh, we're going to consult with the attorney to make sure that the protections are in place for them uh, but the several of the people that are going to stay are elderly and so it's a huge relief when we have people that are given peace of mind to know that they're going to be okay and they're not going to be displaced. Uh, and that's part of the, the fun of what I do is solving problems. Uh, for them, this is a big, big deal. For some people, it would just simply be another home sale. But um, I love the human aspect of real estate because this, at the end of the day, it's all bricks and mortar. But how you feel, how you live, your state of mind is what's most important. Okay, here on the second level, this is our Laundry closet, so you would do either a stack unit or front loads, one on top of the other, right there. Nice benefit to have that on the second level. Look at that, nothing but light and windows there on that wall. Of course, looking out onto the street. I'm gonna give you a shot here from the other direction to give you a good idea of how this room is configured. Once again, we've got that exposed brick they did a nice ceiling fan and the gray and white color motif. Uh, we maintained our decorative coal burning fireplace there. And once again, wood floors here throughout this entire home. Our closet is situated right here. They did really nice doors too on this renovation. Okay, as we go back down the hallway, to the right is going to be our hall bath, uh, and they did a great job in here. As you can see, we've got ceramic tile there in the tub shower area. Uh, nice marble vanity top, and uh, beautiful tile there on the floor as well. I really love the styling uh, that went into this gorgeous home. Good looking shower head too. Once again, that detail all the way here throughout the entire home. 
So really impressed with that. All right, as we go back down the hallway, we're gonna venture to our right. And we have a electrical closet. So the cover is right there. That would go back on top. And I imagine uh, you could probably put a couple of temporary shelves in there. You don't wanna block your breaker box, but you could put some shelving maybe below and above it. This middle room, this would be ideal for home office. This is gonna be the most conservative of the bedrooms. Um, it could serve as a nursery or it could serve as a child's bedroom if you put perhaps a twin bed. Uh, however, the child would have double closets, which is always nice. You have one for toys and one for clothes. So that is a good situation. Once again, our decorative fireplace in place. And now I'm gonna take you into the primary suite. Primary suite is, of course, at the back of the home. And uh, notice the glass transom up top. Uh, once again, we've got the recessed lights, the crown molding uh, throughout the second floor as well. Okay, here to the right is going to be our primary bath. And once again, they did a fabulous job here with the styling. We've got the seat with the view right there. You can read by window light, which is always a nice plus. Gorgeous shower area. I love this tile. The combination of uh, the floor tile and the wall tile uh, is just very, very pleasing. All right, as we venture to the right, this is of course is going to be our actual primary suite. Before we go there, we do have a linen closet convenient to that bathroom we just saw. And love the fact that here on the rear, they gave us a window nice and high, so you don't have to worry about furniture blocking it. And of course, we've got these two massive windows here on the side. So this light is just gonna pour right on in to this home uh, like it is today. And our closet is right here. Plenty of closet space here double closet which is nice in these older homes uh, many times you don't get a standard size closet so it's really good to see a, a renovator be able to, to make that happen wow this was a gorgeous home i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i do if you have any questions about this or any other home in the market my name is max williams it would be an honor for me to help i can be reached on facebook under richmond Area foreclosures on youtube under my name max williams realtor Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.